Hello and welcome to this CCB video blog. Today I'm going to be talking about predator and prey relationships. It's really funny because I always see bass fishermen and I always come up and go, Oh my god, look how good this bait looks. Look how good this bait looks. And I always kind of joke, only looks good if a bass eats it. Now I did a little video, oh say, 10 years ago. That explains how predator and prey sort of go about their daily lives. I did it because I thought a lot of people, even at that time, 10 years ago, didn't really understand that relationship. And well, I think the advice is sound. And here it is. Hello and welcome to this edition of Biology Bites. Now today I'm be talking about predator-prey relationship. Bass and whatever they're eating, uh, either minnows or crawdads or anything else. The reality is they've spent their whole lives in the same neighborhood. The prey know they're a prey, the bass know they're a predator, and they can be around a bass and not be nervous and just go about their business. Because they know how to stay out of harm's way when they can visually see the bass. It's when they can't see the bass, they start to get a little nervous. It's kind of like big cats. I've said before that watching the relationship between big cats and their prey can really give you an understanding of how bass go about hunting their prey. Well, you could have a herd of gazelle and a pride of lions drinking at the same watering hole. Gazelle are there, they know that lion wants to kill him and will eat him if it gets a chance, but they're both there, they're not nervous, they're going about the business, they're just drinking. If that, pride, uh, that herd of gazelle suddenly doesn't pay attention, looks up and doesn't see those lions, it's going to start to get a little nervous and it's probably going to spook and it's probably going to take off from that watering hole. Well, that's sort of the same way it is with bass and their prey. Like I said, when they can see them, they're not too nervous. When they can't see them, they get a little nervous. And I just find that a lot of fishermen, uh, they think if they throw out a bait and have it come merrily down looking like an easy meal, that a bass will come from 10, 20 feet away, wherever it is, and rush over and eat it. Not the case. Between that lure and the bass, there might be a bunch of live bait. And prey don't get themselves eaten unless they slip up. They have to slip up and put themselves in harm's way before they get eaten. If they can see, like I said, they can be around the bass and just go around their business. They keep one eye on him, but they know when they're out of harm's way. Anyway, they're very close to a bass. Like I said, it's when they slip up, they get themselves eaten. And that's why I think presentation, technique one, but presentation is so important in catching yourself more bass. You gotta present your lure in a way that it looks like it slipped up. It messed up, it got itself in harm's way. Cause that's when the bass is gonna rush over and eat your lure. I hope this helps. Until next time. That was terrific! Great! Right, yeah! Best fish! Fantastic! Yeah, it's really great! Really pisky, yeah! <laughs>